Greetings everybody, this is Ruma Niyogi from Acton TV and my, today my show is sponsored by Acton Board of Health um, uh, and I have a guest today and she is uh, Melissa Dempsey, she is from Acton Boxbury School System. So today uh, I am going to cook a meal and um, in, the, in that cooking, uh, like in the, I'll, the dishes I will be cooking, I will cook a lentil dups, dal soup, some greens and chicken and um, egg and, and, and a sweet relish. Today I will be serving all my food with brown rice. Uh, uh, for brown rice, I am using 1 is to 3 ratio. So, 1 cup of rice and one, uh, 3 cups of water. But today in my cooking show, I am going to introduce a, a very mm, a good ingredient uh, which uh, the part of India I am from, they use, uh, um, use it uh, uh, on a, like a, in every meal. Uh, uh, like every dish, almost almost every dish. Mm -hmm. So we call it panch foron. That means five ingredients, and those five in panch in Hindi and in uh, Engli uh, in English it's five. So I have these five ingredients. This one is uh, fenugreek seeds, and this one is onion seeds, black onion seeds, cumin seeds, fennel seeds, and mustard seeds. And all these five ingredients we we we, we make this. Uh, uh, panch foron we call it and in that we mix equal amount of each uh, in five uh, um, all five ingredients and we, we always prepare it and uh, uh, prepare and keep it at home like this in the five five ingredients. This is this is lentil. Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, lentil bean and um, I so I use lentil uh, one cup of lentil and I will boil it in um, some water. Okay. Okay, so I added one cup of lentil bean. Okay. And then uh, add about three cups of water. Okay. I start with half teaspoon of salt. And then let it boil. So this is about, I would say, three cups, three cups of chopped. Okay. Uh, um, chopped uh, and the beet greens. Beet greens, okay. Okay, I, mm -hmm. I will use two tablespoons of oil. Is that canola oil? That's canola think? oil, right? yes. And then when it, in the hot oil, I will add my palm chorin. Okay. So I use half a teaspoon. Um, when I add this, I'll reduce the heat. Okay. And then a half a teaspoon of so half a teaspoon of the of the panch form. form. Yeah. Now you have to learn this. I do. I have to learn it. Yes, I'm practicing <laughs> panch form. Yeah. I moved to this country mm -hmm. um, as a graduate student. Oh, okay. Before that, I never cooked. Okay. Like at the, this is in high heat now. Okay. So I'll do the saute in high heat. All right. And it will not take long. It's already shrinking. <laughs> yeah. Very quickly. And I'll add the salt. I'll start with one fourth teaspoon. Okay. So I turn it off. Okay. Done. And then I keep it covered, you know. Okay. So that a little bit more cook while it is while the stove is a little bit hot, you know. Right. So but it is, it is done. So. See how fast it's getting okay. soft? So you can guess you can see it. Really yeah. It's just absorbing. Yeah. The absorbing water. the water and then it's getting soft. Okay. It's almost like a very fast. So it's it is very fast. Yeah. So okay. I will add very little, half one four teaspoon of just a quarter. Okay. Yeah. Turmeric here. This one I will cook with coconut oil. Okay. Add 
again I will add my panch forum. Panch forum. Yeah, yes. you, you now you know the word. Yeah, all kinds of five seeds, and I will add again one fourth teaspoon. Okay. And I will add this to oh, the okay. uh, to, to the uh, soup or dal, whatever you call lentil dal or lentil soup. So and dal is means soup then. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And this will give this will add the aroma to the okay. uh, to the dal. Miss any of it. <laughs> so now yes. we have two dishes done. So we'll take a short break. Okay. And Sounds good. We'll, we'll, we'll come back. Okay. Looks like it's done. Don't let salmonella get funky with your chicken. On average, one in six Americans will get a foodborne illness this year. You can't see these microbes, but they might be there. So learn the right temperature to cook each type of meat. Keep your family safe at foodsafety.gov. Now I'm starting to cook um, chicken with gi in ginger paste. So I'm using a chicken breast, boneless, skinless chicken breast, uh, five of this size, five pieces, and I, I dice them. So this is the size I'm using. And all um, this, um, um, like you can buy it from grocery store, like bo is boneless and is skinless, you know, very easy. And I like chicken bo chicken uh, breast because it is less fat yes. and it's fast to cook. Right. That's why I like it. So I already have um, uh, um, um, this uh, five of this um, chicken uh, breast in marinated in one cup of. Uh, um, um, fat free uh, yogurt and in this uh, just so you marinate mm -hmm. it and nothing else this chicken and um, breast and yogurt and plain yogurt plain yogurt okay non-fat plain yogurt I uh, uh, that makes keeps it soft sometimes uh, we complain that when you when you cook uh, chicken breast it becomes hard yes you know like a chewy so if you marinate it in um, uh, yogurt for some time it, okay. it stays soft okay now and this I will add um, ginger. This this ginger is um, a two inches long. Okay. Uh, ginger and I blended it in blender in with water. So it, this is it looks so big, you know, because of the water. Mm -hmm. You know, because I, I've in the blender I need okay. some water to blend it. So and then I rinse the um, blender with some water. So okay. it has some water. But the ginger paste is out of two inches of ginger. Okay. And that I'm going to add some vegetables to in my chicken, mm -hmm. and I uh, diced one um, yellow or orange just to d add color, one um, yellow, one green, and one red bell pepper, okay. and onion, one onion. And I'm using simple oil, two tablespoons. And you have it on high on again? high on yes. high again and let it hit and then my today's cooking show my key <laughs> ingredient you remember the name I do punch for on yes good <laughs> yeah i'm going to add that and i will add turmeric also okay and very little not much like it will be one four teaspoon of turmeric. Is it a strong flavor by itself, the turmeric? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. okay. Add this. And 
and I'm slowly adding okay. my ginger. Uh, this is, um, I'm adding the ginger so that you can test, you know, okay. uh, like a te uh, test it, how yeah. it goes with the chicken. And then I will add a little bit of, very little, like one four teaspoon of okay. uh, uh, chili. Can you take chili, chili, powder. chili powder? Can yeah. you take? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, this is, this is not much. It will just it's give a flavor. Yeah. yeah. No, I like that. And nowadays, uh, we would like to have some chili powder, chili because that increases the uh, metabolism. It does, right. You know, yeah. so a little bit chili adding is fine. I feel like the chili powder goes with a lot of different dishes yeah. as well. Yeah. yeah. So now I'm adding the marinated chicken. This is lots of chicken, so I need one teaspoon of salt. Okay. And this is enough to add the vegetables, like I have enough salt. I can add a little bit of salt for the vegetable. The, I'll just sprinkle it on top. Okay. On the on the vegetable, like a one four teaspoon. Okay. Adding. So while my chicken and ginger is getting cooked, uh, like it's uh, cooking, so mm -hmm. I will get ready for my next dish. Very simple boiled egg. And um, and um, the boi egg boiling is really what I do. I I boil it um, like this one. Um, how I did? I boil it for say for almost for like in lots of water, okay. almost for an hour. Oh, very okay. So, how was the water boiling? Was the well, water the boil it was boiled the whole time? So now I'm starting my e um, eggs. So. Again, high heat, my pan mm -hmm. will be hot. Okay. And I will add my oil. My oil is mustard oil. One tablespoon. Okay. Now I will add my, I, I turned off turned off the heat okay because i'm adding this is wet water wet so it will splatter a little bit <laughs> so it is good when you add uh, anything wet just turn off the stove mm -hmm. you know after adding because it may have put on your hand you know splatter yes. on your hand and thing and then again start the stove you know so now i can start the stove and i'm adding the turmeric. Turmeric, yes. One four two three mm -hmm. Okay. And then salt, one four teaspoon of salt. While it is getting fried and medium heat, it is getting fried medium heat. Okay. I will I'll just I'll do this so that uh, like it enters inside the. Oh, okay. You know the aroma goes inside the right. egg. Just. I'm cutting. It's getting cooked. So let's all the flavor in. Yeah. And the nice color it gets, the burnt color, you know. See, look at the color. Oh, wow. 
and it tastes good also. So my chicken is done, my egg, um, eggs are done. So um, at this point, I'll take a break <laughs> and we'll come back with my sweet dish. That will take very fast. Alvin and the Chipmunks want to remind you, bacteria can hide in food and make you ill. Wow! But you can keep bacteria from ruining your day with four simple steps. Clean. I'm waiting for the rinse cycle. Separate. <laughs> cook. Fire in the hole! And chill. We Chipmunks are notoriously tidy. Check your steps. The road trip to food safety starts at foodsafety.gov. Looks like it's done. Don't let salmonella get funky with your chicken. On average, one in six Americans will get a foodborne illness this year. You can't see these microbes, but they might be there. So learn the right temperature to cook each type of meat. Keep your family safe at foodsafety.gov. again with our last two dishes um, as, um, as as I said we are using all seeds five kinds of seeds and out of those seeds uh, fennel seed fennel seed is very good for digestion so today I'm going to make fennel seed um, 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 tea that sounds delicious yeah Great. so I'm using we have uh, like a here five cups of uh, water so I will heat the water boil the water and there I am adding in 5 cups of water I am adding half a teaspoon of fennel seed and then let it boil while this getting cooked I oh I was going to ask about the rice I don't know is it okay, too yeah, soon for let's the rice? See. yeah no okay. we are our rice See, it looks it's done. You know, now it's showing keep warm. And let's check. Let's check how the rice came out. We will see. Stir it. Okay. Yeah, looks all, perfect. All nicely done. You know, so let's come to our sweet dish. That is, I'm use I'm cooking um, um, just simple apple. Mm -hmm. You know, that's so. Let's slice the apples. I have five apples here. Maybe you. Um, I think it. Let it boil. It's let okay. It boil as first. long okay. as it doesn't overflow. Yes. Just check. Yeah. So this this is the kind of slices I'm doing. This also has a nice aroma. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All these seeds itself goes. has uh, like mm -hmm. a one um, like a, a different kind of aroma. Maybe we can make it medium now as okay. it started boiling. So we want to keep the water boiling, uh, like a, for some time because uh, it is not like a tea. For what when we do tea, we as soon as the water starts boiling, mm -hmm. we add the tea bag. Right. But here we we let it boil for some time. We need it to simmer. Yeah. In. Yeah. This dish I'm going to eat. With, uh, I'm going to cook with. Uh, um, the cow ghee. Nowadays, as you, as all of us know, that ghee um, ghee is very good for health. Yes. So for this one, I'll use cow ghee, and I use two tablespoons of ghee. Again, my key ingredient is coming. <laughs> so it can be in desserts or in yeah. sweet dishes as well as yeah. savory. Flavor, sa savory dishes. One fourth teaspoon. Okay. A 
from this, I will add the sugar. I add, this is sweet dish, I add one cup of sugar. Okay. And that sugar I add right away. So that, the logic behind is, if you let it cook for some time, it becomes very, it, uh, the um, fruit becomes soft. Okay. So, but if you add sugar right away, it doesn't become that soft. I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's a good tip. Yeah. add some water like half a cup of water I added okay surprise ingredient <laughs> is the turmeric the turmeric turmeric Again, one four teaspoon. Now our bar tea is ready. Like I boil, we boiled it. Now the, it, the color a little bit changed. Okay. Know? And now we can add our tea bags. I any can you can use any tea bag, and it is off. We are not boiling. Okay. This one, we are not boiling the tea right. bags. So just steeping, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you put in one, so five, I guess. Yeah, so we had yeah. five cups, mm -hmm. but I am adding four. Oh, okay. I have been cooking it for uh, maybe five minutes as you see the um, um, the apple uh, all the sugar syrup has been thickened now so I'm turning it off and I'm done this is our apple uh, su sweet uh, apple chutney so my dinner table is ready so uh, today I cooked um, sorted green, uh, beet greens, uh, lentil dal soup, uh, um, sorted, uh, sorted egg, boiled egg in turmeric, mm -hmm. <laughs> and this is chicken breast in ginger. Okay. It will be a gingery chicken, you will yes. see, because we added, remember, we added paste. lots of chicken yep, paste and ginger paste, mm -hmm. and this is our uh, sweet apple. So let's have dinner and I want to thank you um, um, Acton Health Department uh, the, uh, to sponsor this cooking show and uh, we, I hope to do it more and thanks a lot and thanks for watching. <laughs>